Hey everybody, my name is John and I am uh, testing a product today. Hopefully it works. I'm in my daughter's bedroom um, and I stripped all the popcorn. I'll show it to you in a minute. I stripped the popcorn and I am going to do a knockdown ceiling. And in the past I've used a method, the um, plastic bag method. You can find it on YouTube. It works really well. Um, but you, have to, you do have to put down quite a bit of, of mud in order to do that method. To use that method. I bought this Homax ceiling texture. It is not the popcorn kind. It's actually called Orange Peel Knockdown. Terrible reviews online. After I bought it, I went in and looked at how to use it. Um, I have a theory that the people who gave it poor reviews did not uh, pay attention to the directions on how to use it. It's very important that it's at the correct temperature. So, when you start to use it, if it's not working correctly, you're supposed to either hold it under cold water or under hot water in order for it to work. So I am going to review it for you today. Like I said, it's Homax ceiling texture. Let me show you what I have going on here. So here's the room. I took down the light fixture and wrapped it up. It says that it will create a huge mess. Some of the reviews said that it will, it will be extremely messy. Don't even plan on keeping your clothes afterwards. Um, so I had plastic all over uh, or in my painting stuff, and I just happened to have enough that went around the entire room. So I, I plastic the whole room, and except for that section of the door, and I'll do that when I get started. The ceiling has been stripped. Um, and then I patched a few nicks and then I primed it with a drywall primer. And that was a couple of weeks ago and then I had to travel for work so I'm just now getting back at this again. So I will, uh, I'm about ready to start and I will post my either frustration or not frustration. <laughs> um, so I'll, uh, I'll be back after a little bit. Okay, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this at all. This is update number one, um, can number one. It it works pretty well, but you really have to pay attention to the directions. Um, it is messy. If you look at the reviews on the, the Homex website, uh, I don't know if you can see, but there's splatter everywhere. Um, it is messy. I'm this beautiful carpet is going away as soon as I'm done with this. So, you know, I don't care about it. <laughs> um, but you can see the I don't know if you can see the knockdown texture or not. It's now I only got I used one can and I only got to here. Um, I did not get that spot. So I mean, literally, if I, I I'm hoping I I bought four cans. I'm hoping I can get this done in four cans. I may have to run down and buy one more, but um, let's see if I can get a good picture of it. Key is, number one, they say temperature, but from what I've read and from my experience, it's how much you shake it. You really, really have to shake it for four or five minutes, not just, there's a, there's a ball in there, and you really have to shake it until that you hear that ball loosen up. And then I actually sprayed a test pattern on, and they, they recommend this so I brought in some cardboard from out of the garage and I did a test pattern and then as I did, did two sides the first side was way was way runny so I thought well you can say I did it twice I thought I was going to have to go put it under cold water like they recommended but instead I just got online and read some more on it and they said the more you shake it the better well sure enough I shook it for about five minutes and um, that was my result, which looked good for me. To me, the second key is letting it set up for much more than the two minutes it recommends. I let this go for five before I knocked it down. Two was too um, too runny. So anyway, looks good so far. Okay, um, I'm done. Did not take long at all. The uh, I like it a lot. And, uh, but there, you really have to pay attention to a few things, so let me cover just a few things for you. Number one, as you saw, I wrapped the entire room in plastic. If you have good carpet, 
you have to cover them. I mean, this room is trashed and I'll show you in a minute. Um, but it's well worth taking the time, tape everything off, cover everything up, get everything out of the room and just spray it. It works so much better that way. I found that it was the first application, the first can I put on, I used the ladder and then I moved around the room. It's much better actually, even though you get, it's messy. You can see my arm. I mean, I'm, I'm completely covered. I wasn't wearing this hat. Um, I, it was better to walk underneath it and just spray and walk and spray it up there. A um, couple of things. Most important, the room I have set at 68 degrees, or no, 69 degrees. Um, I let the cans warm up inside the room at that, le at that temperature. Um, that's the recommended range, I think 68 to 72. Um, I did not have to use water, heat it, or cool it. What I found was the amount of time that you shake the, the, the can is the most important. I shook the cans for three to five minutes, okay? Um, then, test your spray. And the reason why you test your spray is so important, the first shot that comes out of the can is always water. I mean, it was really, really runny. Then by the time you use the second spray, shake it a little bit again and then hit the second time, and it would come out at a nice consistency. Um, I mean, you can see that's one time that I tested it, it's all water. Here's another time it was all water. Um, the back side, same. This side, that was really runny. That was when I only shook it for about a minute to two minutes. You need to shake it for five, four to five. Um, next, eye protection, got a key. I mean, um, especially when you're standing underneath it. And I wore a ventilator as well. Um, don't know that you need to, but I did. Lastly, when you knock it down, let it sit for about five minutes. Um, and it's really important when you knock down, if you've never done it before, you're not scraping. It's extremely light pressure and as flat as you can to the ceiling. If it's too wet or you don't let it dry long enough, you're just going to smudge it. It's just going to pull across and it's just going to be a wet smudge. It's not going to give you the desired texture. So let me give you the finished product real quick. All in all, I say excellent product. If I would have used the bag method, I would have been in here all, I mean, I would have been in here all day. Um, this took me probably two and a half hours and that included the time it took to, to plastic the whole room off. So final. I don't know if you can see it with the light, but I really like it. The, the can, it's the, the size of the room. It said three cans. Um, I bought four, three actually worked for this. Um, but there were a couple of areas that were light. I'm sure, I'm sure this isn't really showing well, but it does look pretty good. But you can see, I mean, you can see, look at the, I mean, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a lot on the carpet. There are, I mean, it's all over the, it's all over the walls. It, it's messy, it's very messy. This, this corner turned out really nice. Anyway, I give it a thumbs up. You just have to make sure you don't try to, to hurry and rush through it. Make sure you test your consistency your, of the texture, that it's what you want on the cardboard before you put it on. The reason why this looks spotty is because um, <clears throat> the uh, I went back over with the fourth can and there were some areas that I thought were too um, sparse. So I actually sprayed, you know, I went back over again and hit the whole ceiling just, you know, with bursts. But that, so that's, those are wet still, they haven't dried. Anyway, thumbs up, I like it. Okay, I'm back. I thought I was done, but I wanted to add one more, uh, one more piece to the video. The product says after three to five hours that you can um, paint. I waited about six and I started to paint. Um, it went on, when I cut it all in, it, it did really well with the brush, no problems. As soon as I put a lot of paint on the roller, then it started to really clump up. Only on that first swipe, the first roll, when the, the, the roller was really, really saturated. So I'd, you know, reach up there and pull and it would, 
it would clump up and pull some of the, the product off of the ceiling so it was on. Um, not a big deal, by the time I got done, or you know, after that initial um, issue, I was able to keep moving and rolling. Um, every time I reapplied paint, it did the same thing. So it wasn't a huge deal, um, but just be aware of it. I jumped up on the ladder after I let it dry just a touch and then I would pick the flakes off of the ceiling. And um, so it's, it's not too bad. I did a real light coat of paint for the first, um, for the first coat just so that I could you know, hopefully that now this paint will dry and I won't have the same issue again with the second coat. It wasn't bad, uh, but I would recommend possibly waiting until the next uh, morning before you, or the next day before you put that first um, coat on. Not that I, I don't know if it'll actually matter, but um, that's just my recommendation. Thanks.